everybody, Kelly Sue from Cleopatra Art Studios here, teaching you how to paint a winter, hello winter charcuterie board for on the down low, very little moolah. So let me just get on here super fast so I can answer your questions. Now, honestly, you could still make this and gift this, um, look around your house and find some stuff, but there is some curing time that has to happen. So as long as, oh, I did not do my nails today. So as long as you are very clear to whoever you're gifting it to that there is some curing time. Here we go. Um, you can still gift it. Why not? Gift it away. Okay, so the people that have purchased the um, uh, the DIY porcelainer kits, when they um, cut them to the desired length, there's a piece left over. And so that's what I'm doing is just showing you how to, you know, get another project for like zero or free. So on Amazon I have, in bulk, because we do them all the time, um, these little singular handles, because let's face it, I bought a really big charcuterie board for John and Etsy, and it's gorgeous, it's like live edge, and it's over $300 to fill it full of food. So something smaller works just a lot better. So if I were to guess, because you know I don't have a measuring device here, um, I would say this is, well, 12 inches wide, which really measures in the man lumber world, like 11 and 5 eighths. And I would say that this is maybe 14 inches long. So plenty of space to put some food and a couple cups of pickles. You gotta have the pickles. Tell me what you like on your charcuterie board. Um, the pickles, the nuts, all the goodness. And this makes such a cute project. So mine's all dented a little bit. I, I did pre-sand it, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so the one thing you need to keep in mind is the curing. You're gonna put a, wow, that's darker than dark. Oh, oh we're gonna get something else real quick. It looks like I got in there and, and, and uh, changed the color a little bit. It's actually probably not too far from what I want. <coughs> curing, paint cures, and then the finishing spray also cures it. So Minwax, polyacrylic, I'll flip that around in a minute. I went with satin and it, so there's this big debate. Can you paint on something you're gonna eat? Can you not paint on something you're gonna eat off of? And the question is, it's up to you. If you're, the, if you're freaking out about it, don't do it. If you have a comfort level, that's fine. But what I do is I go on my products website I research and find typically that there's a 21 day wait period for, hey Donna, um, nice to see you. I can't wait to see what you're doing with those, all those projects that you picked up. So there's a, there's a wait time, honestly. Um, for every product, let me get some black in there. Boom. To be food safe, that's Sabrina calling in. Okay, so all I did was mix blue, black, and silver, and water, lots of water. So you wanna be safe. Um, I specifically would watch out for pregnant women. I always tell them, don't go another brand, go polycrylic, definitely. Their wait time is 21 days. And we've done these at paint parties. And then just, just look. What I wouldn't do is add glitter. Add things that cause a little bump to form where food can settle in there and therefore bacteria forming. It's a lot like ceramics. <coughs> You're always looking out for the bacteria forming. Um, what else wouldn't I do? Don't put it in the dishwasher, guys. You're just gonna hand wipe it, maybe use a bleach wipe afterwards. Seal it regularly. I know it sounds like a lot of steps, but it's not really. You're gonna create something amazing. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, and that's exactly right who's saying that, Becky, you can always put down saran wrap. If you're like super concerned, put down saran wrap. Paint your sides, I'm not gonna do it right now. I got some wet wipes. I'm looking to see if I can't find a little grain, just a little grain. I'm not trying to fool the public that this isn't wood, so I'm going with the grain. If I feel like I need a second coat, I'll add it. So you can see the grain a little bit. 
And if you don't like that, if you want to paint it solid, go ahead. But if you put too much paint on there, that's when, you know, like heavy, thick layers, that's when you're more likely, <coughs> excuse me, to have a problem. So who here, show of hands, who here has painted their own charcuterie boards before? Literally, the sky is the limit. You don't have to be able to draw real well. You can download an image off the internet, use some graphite paper, transfer the image, and away you go. I can draw passably. I, I can I do a pretty good job drawing. Um, so I typically just kind of go for it. <laughs> That's my handprint that cracked me up. So kind of curious. So we do it a couple times a year. I would say the sunflower ones we do are the most popular. Hey, Jillian. Donna, okay, just finished doing our family Christmas presents. I got a whole bunch of yours. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you get a whole bunch of my stuff, Donna? Big surprise. If you, if you haven't been watching, Donna. Donna picks out her own presents and then probably, Donna, do you have to wrap your own presents? <laughs> uh, <coughs> so I knew she was getting a bunch of Cleopatra stuff for Christmas. So this is a freebie. This is a... Um, a tutorial, something you can do, look around, find a clean piece of wood that you can use, make it as big or as little as you want. Sweet! It's all about layers. You want to do thin, thin layers so you're not creating too thick of spots that when the paint shrinks, paint shrinks when it dries, at almost a third, or actually a little bit more than a third, 33 and a third percent, don't forget about that. That there's going to be a hidden pocket where food and debris can settle. And that's just all you're going to look out for. You're just going to be patient on this. That being said, I have boxes I have to get out. So at the one hour mark, I'm probably going to get kicked out. John's going to run over and say, enough lady, enough. Okay, so I downloaded some font. Um, it reads... Hello winter. I'm gonna hit the magic button that allows me to flip my camera. There we go. Hello winter, and I did it in three sizes. I'll probably just hand draw mine with chalk, but I wanted to show you that, I know you ladies don't love how you draw, or write. I hear that at every paint party. If there's writing to be done, uh, somebody comes up and says, Kelly Sue, will you do it for me? Um, so I just wanted to show you, you don't have to write very well. I will show you a couple tricks. You just, if you're a Cricut person, Pull up, the Cricut hates me by the way. Pull up that Cricut um, software and then create your own. So I'm going to do a snowman, kind of looking up at the Hello Winter, and um, I was thinking some vowels with pine cones. Pretty simple. Um, but then my challenge is not get too big on my snowman so that there's room for my Hello Winter, which will, which will probably be right about there. So I'm gonna just put a little line where I need to be finished. I need to be finished with my snowman. So it's all about composition. Whatever you put here, you're gonna put some here, not too full, you're gonna go for it. And just have fun. Snowmen are pretty easy. So I have a photo of a snowman I liked. I have permission to use this design. I do pay for licensing rights for some artists that I really love their work. Um, and as long as you're not selling it, you could do something similar. All right, so I'm going to do a little face. So I have to be done about here. So I'm going to just do two parentheses. They're facing each other, just like normal parentheses. Instead of being straight, I have them angled a little bit. And then right under that, I'm going to do his scarf. So that's going to be his face. His scarf, I'm going to connect his face to the scarf with a smile, a smile line, whoop. And I'm gonna keep it very pedestrian how I do this. I've taught kids a lot, so I'll keep it simple. Another parenthesis, starting at his cheek line, I am going to just do a backwards kind of candy cane. And then I'm gonna come across, pretty simple, and down. So that's a scarf, it's pretty simple. You could have one waving up but since I know I wanted to put some vowels, I'm, I'm trying to keep them simple. And then I'm just going to finish off his 
his ball. I'm gonna actually turn this so you guys can see a little bit better. Right, is that, do I have to do one more turn? Hold on. One more turn, yes, one more turn. Right there? Yes, okay. <coughs> so hopefully that helped. So that's his ball, that's his scarf. You can, like I said, you can do one that goes up if you wanted to. I don't really care to. I'm gonna start with his hat and I'm gonna go rather rapidly. If you feel like you want to do this, come back and watch it or we're gonna upload it to the YouTube channel we have for tutorials. So we're just gonna do a wavy little brim, connect it with a parenthesis and back at ya. Doesn't have to be perfect in chalk. And then I'm just gonna go up. It does look like I'm gonna be up where I thought the bowels would be. Oop, I don't like swooping out. We're gonna swoop in. We're swooping in. And then I'm just gonna do a smile to connect the top and the same thing off to the side if I want to. The nose is super simple. I'm gonna do a C. I'm gonna start pretty much in the center of the face for the C. The nose, I'm gonna come off the face a bit and back. And this is where a lot of people make a little mistake. Um, they put the nose past the eye or just underneath one eye and really it should be pretty centered between the two eyes. So I'm just going to draw them but I'm going to paint over them. Two eyes, the mouth, there's a button. I don't have to put all that stuff right now. He does look a little anorexic. Let's go ahead and fatten him up. So I could fatten him up here and here a little bit. It doesn't have to be you know, like perfect, it's going to be a cute little snowman. I'm already rethinking the hat. And I'm thinking I want to go with a stocking. A stocking hat. I think would make more sense there. And of course, mine would be a little bit more perfect if I was just focusing on drawing and not drawing and teaching. There we go. It's going off, it's coming back, it's going back down. There we go. <laughs> it looks like a witch. You guys are on this wild journey with me. I don't pre-draw, I just kind of figure it out as I go. Oh, you know why? There needs to be a ribbon. I'm going back to the other side. There needs to be a ribbon. Uh, nope. Yep, so I lift my finger. So we're going up with the hat and off the page. Close enough, here we go. So I just put a real thin coat underneath and I know that I'm gonna need at least two coats of whitish color. I say whitish because a lot of times I put a base coat of a gray or a silver in there just to give it a little primer and I know that I'll go over it again. Oh, it's a mess up today. So are you guys ready for, I'm not seeing, there you go. Are you guys ready? I replied with ingredients, instructions, and options. Oh, the two ingredient um, fudge, yes. Um, we are sick here. Oh no, Jillian, I'm so, so sorry that you guys are sick. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with some gray and some white for my snowman, just to give it a nice base coat. So Brenda, thanks so much, you're the best. I'm, I have peanut butter. I'm kind of interested what the other, the other ingredient is. I don't even know what the other ingredient is. It's like, surprise! <laughs> okay. Here we go. So it's just a really light gray. Make him as fluffy as you want. I'm only doing the snowman section. If your blue was wet, you can get some blue streaks and that's okay. It's a-okay. A lot of snow has some blue in it. You so chubby. Big surprise there. I would probably continue him along. The great news is you have a second side to do another holiday. No way, Brenda. The other ingredient is frosting. 
You know, it's kind of speaking my language. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint over the nose. I know it's there. Oh my gosh, the other ingredient is frosting. You know, looking at this, he may be a little bit large to do all the interesting stuff I wanted to do at the top. I can sit on it for a day or two. I have a little blue that's coming through. It was still a little wet and I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that. Anything else gonna be blue? Don't think so. Nope. Okay, right, here we go. Cleaning out my brush. I was gonna go with a bright blue scarf. That didn't work out. Give me a color for the scarf, people. I'm gonna go ahead and start work working on the hat. So nice, thin layers, paint shrinks. Don't forget, paint shrinks. I don't think I need to go out so far on my rim of my hat. Am I getting any colors? Purple, I was thinking purple. Purple, purple, purple. Let's see what other people have to say. Because I'm gonna have some green at the top. I mean, red would be very traditional, but purple's not bad. I was actually thinking purple or lime green or teal. You guys know I'm a little bit of a teal freak. It doesn't, this does not have to be, you know, like perfect. I absolutely love painting on lumber is what I should say. You guys know that we sell wood kits. I love painting on lumber. I always have I always do at least one family project when we had the studio. Ooh, he's got such a big hat. I'm not too worried about the hat. I'm still gonna do some kind of bows. <laughs> that chunky hat. Um, <clears throat> I'm still gonna do some bows of some sort. Um, and I just love how wood accepts the paint. Tessa, Tessa, my love, yes, teal. You know what looks great with teal? It's purple. The scarf and hat band is purple would be great. Well, I want to make Tessa and you both happy. So, doop doop, perhaps. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, because I'm gonna have some red berries up there. Really? I think I'm gonna go right in. So I just have a nice big round, round paintbrush. That's so funny. I have a round round. I'm just gonna add it. It's okay if I pick up a little bit of black, it'll just be shading. And it's the first coat, guys. It's layers. Layers, it's just layers. I'm gonna look up here. I like to go around the corner a little bit. It helps. And I most likely will put some gold around the side. <laughs> it's okay that he's so tall. He looks like, like the Pillsbury Doughboy or something there. I do like that. Okay, so if I did like a buffalo plaid purple, I kind of like that idea. Let's, let's go ahead and color block it in. Color blocking, I'm simply painting it one color. I am assigning a color to an area. And it's very, very fancy. Fancy talk. So this is Lavender from Deco Art. I've had some help in the studio. I'm gonna say right off the bat, somebody thinned it down a little bit. It's normally a little thicker than this. And that's okay. That's okay. I can give multiple coats. I'm gonna go wide. I'm gonna go wide. We're going wide and back in. It's such a fat scarf. It doesn't have to be a knot. It could just be like it's just pulled down and flowing. Do do do. So everyone, tell me how you're doing. You're gonna be super shocked because we've been working so hard. I have not wrapped a single present. I'm even concerned that I have a present for everyone to open. But the way we do things in our family now, because apparently we're breeders and we go find other people to breed with, 
<laughs> which is what life is all about. And I'm just laughing. Um, is that our family is pretty large now. And so we, for the last couple years is instead of having my kids go broke, buying stuff that we didn't necessarily need, we pick a name and we get them a present. And typically there is a price limit, you know, but I always go over. And then it's just all stock and stuffers. Go buy some gum, buy a lottery ticket. Oh my gosh, if we made a million dollars on a lottery ticket, that would be the best stocking stuffer ever. <laughs> okay, so it's looking pretty good, don't you think? Okay, so it's just a matter of drying it. I'm not worried about the chalk. I'm gonna come back later. I'm gonna fix it. It's not about being perfected, perfection. It's about, yes, I'm upside down today, Kathy. It's so you can see my work. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's so you can see right down my shirt. No, I'm just joking. Kathy's my mother-in-law. I'm just joking with her. Um, it's not about being perfect. It's about making a gift that doesn't cost very much money at all. And you just made somebody's day. You made them a really cute gift and it didn't cost anything. So you could either, you know, download clip art. I got something there. And then just transfer the image with some graphite paper and go for it. Or, you know, you can just hand draw it, let it go, go crazy. So I'm doing a little bit of both. I have some lettering that's way too big. That's, I'm gonna write Hello Winter. I think I'm going to cut these apart so I can space them better or just hand draw it myself. Um, Brenda's gonna, um, oh, you've been doing names for years. Well, I just got the message. I just got the memo, Brenda. <laughs> I'm not the smartest cookie in the in the shelf. So, so I'm not worried. I know I've said it before, but I'm still going back to it. I'm not worried about this. If I just try to take off my chalk line now, it's going to be ugh. So if you guys have to go because you're busy, just check back and see what the uh, final result is on this guy. I'm actually pretty satisfied with the white that's on my snowman. If it's bugging you, go ahead and go in there and paint it a couple times, blow dry it, paint it, what have you. Because I'm putting another layer on top that's gonna be the bowels, I'm gonna put my highlighting in now. Because it is harder to do later. So I'm just doing do some cutesy little highlighting. I flipped my paintbrush over. Just a little bit, just on the top, I can come back and do the bottom layer. And because this is a brim, I'm going to throw some snow at the top of my brim. So I'm scooping, I'm just scooping a little bit, but not too high because we, we're, we don't want a place for bacteria. Just gonna boop, boop, boop. It's gonna shrink at 33 and a third percent. So it's not, it's not too high. I didn't use heavy body fluid or um, heavy body acrylics at all. Just got a little snow there. Just a cute little snowman. Okay, so I'm envisioning some bows. Some bows with some, um, help me out here, with the, some berries, maybe some pine cones. If it gets too busy, I'll just not. I have a photo that I'm using as for inspiration. So right away I have, I'm probably gonna dry black. That's okay, I have a piece of chalk. I like to snap it so I have a sharp edge and I'm just gonna come up and off. So I'm just gonna come up and down. There you go. So yeah, my Hello Winter is gonna be really small, huh? Because my my little bowels are gonna hang a little bit. <laughs> what to do, what to do. We'll work with it. This is, this is what we're doing and by goodness, it'll be okay. Okay, I got that. I do have some fluid acrylic, dark brown. Come here. Squeezing out the side. I do like to use fluid acrylic, and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of black and take a dot of water. You should never, when you're painting a curvy or straight line, hey Tiff, how you doing girl? You don't wanna scrub. This is just a free tutorial class on how to do a charcuterie board. Yes, love it how this is looking. Merry Christmas to you also. The word bubble. It's 
smaller lettering. Yep, I'm just gonna have to go for it and make it smaller. <coughs> okay, so you should never have to, when you're doing a straightish or even a curvy line, go back and scrub it in. So if, if that's happening, you do not have your water handled in your paint. Okay, so I'm gonna come up. Ooh. And since this is just my line, and I'm not pressing hard because I'm not looking for a super fat line. Here we go. So right away, if I was painting a tree, I'd go back in and fix this. Hey, hey, going holiday crazy. Tiffany, I know you are, girl. Um, because the tree grows from back here. So this line should be fatter than this line, but I was talking, I got to going. And you know, if I was going to have this line be exposed, I'd wanna go back and fix it so it's older than this line. But I could just make, I just make it a tree. Um, but because I have those green boughs that my plan is that I'm gonna have green boughs on here, <coughs> excuse me, then I'm gonna leave it like that. So I, I do need some, what do you call it? Some branches coming off, not too many. I'm just gonna do one like right here. Whoop, whoop. Okay, that's enough. So we got some hanging down, some going up. And if you like this look, maybe it's just a tree, that's fine too. Put some snow on top, boom, you're done. And that's awesome. I'm just looking for a good paintbrush with enough bristles that it's not gonna drive me crazy. It's not too many, not too little. Hmm. Actually, this one might be winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I have a round paintbrush, it's not a great one. I still don't use my good paintbrushes to paint on wood. Here we go, we're pulling out the hooker green. We're talking about so many jokes, I'm sure. The hooker green, we're pulling that out and it's all about layers. Now, I also love blue spruce. So if you don't have phalo green, hold on, I got it. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be surprised if I don't have it. The so phalo green is a bluish green, you guys can see that. It is a artist paint it's very transparent if you have it great if you don't <coughs> put some blue grab a little blue for your green that's that surprise color I made I'm gonna put that back I'm gonna add a little blue come on baby give it up there you go I'm just gonna mix it with the back of my paintbrush do, 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 do. I could have gone with any color background I could have done uh, that bright, yeah, a bright blue, the teal, a red, a washed crimson, any color. This is what I'm gonna have for my tree branches. It's kind of a bluish, bluish gray. I could have done any color. Okay, if you need a plan for your needles and stuff, go ahead and just use your chalk. Decide where you wanna put it. That kind of thing. I'm just gonna go for it. So I need a branch anywhere. My needles are gonna be, grab some water. So it'll look incredibly awkward for a while. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna go right through that white so it's gonna be a little weird. Blow dry yours if it's driving you nuts. Probably gonna do one. I might do one there. Let's do less is more on this one. Maybe, maybe like one more here. And we're just gonna fill this area up. But it's easier for me to do this transition if I have a spot for each bow. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna double load on either side. I'm gonna just do bristles. And so I'm gonna go darker first. I'm gonna add a little black to that blue I made. And I'm just gonna do some brush strokes down, kind of like a comb. And it's just my first layer. It's awkward, guys. It's gonna be awkward as heck. It's my first layer. It doesn't have anybody's hanging out with them at all. It's just all by itself. It's a Charlie Brown. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, Brenda, I saw your comment. Yeah, I know, I don't know who names these colors. But I was teaching a kid's class and I would be like, oh, man, get your hooker brown. I was waiting for the moms to call me and, you know, like complain. So this probably shouldn't be one, but I'm making it one. Boom. I'm just filling in the area. So I'm dipping in the green. I'm dipping in a little black. I'm starting, whoops. You don't want them super fat. So try not to press too hard the black I did there. I think they're almost like palm leaves. I know, I get it. They're awkward, but this is the undercoat. It's the, we're putting in the dark first. We're Bob Rossing it up with the dark layer. We're gonna build to light. And you can see it didn't go too, too, it didn't take too long. And I think that's my favorite one right there. Too funny. Okay, so I'm just I'm just building it. Dip frequently in the paint. Oop, I dipped in the brown. It's okay. That'll just be a nice background color. Oop. Excuse me, ma'am, but why is your bristle so <laughs> It's okay, we're just filling it in. Nothing to see here. So that's three, but because I don't have it enough black in that one, it's okay. I'm just gonna come back and put it in. So the great news is by the time I'm done here, this side will be dry. I feel like I almost need a little something here, which is great because I can, I can thin down that branch a little bit. Okay, here we go. Don't press too hard. They don't have to be perfect at all. I was intending to fill it out a little bit, but I'm kind of looking and I'm happy. I like, I see that chalk line. I'm gonna turn that into snow here real soon. I'm really happy with where we're going. And remember, I had a, um, a design that I pay licensing rights for, but I've already morphed it so far past that, that I think anybody could use this design and be okay. Oh, well, that's really dark, that's okay. We're building. So if you're new to painting, to freehand painting, please, please, please keep in mind I need a little bit more water, manage your water. Keep in mind that it is all about layers. Whether you're painting on canvas, whether you're painting on lumber, layers. Put in the shading and then build to the highlighting. And just kind of looks like we, this one needs a buddy. He needs a buddy. There we go. And so I'm not doing anything that you couldn't do. I am not doing it perfect at all. I don't even know if I have room for the hello winter anymore. Okay, so we're a little naked here. I'm, I'm gonna start one. We're gonna start one, we're going up. But we can't see all of it because it's going off the page, y'all. It's fine, off the page. And then I'm gonna want to be able to see these Right now, I won't be able to, but I'm gonna, this one is a huge mamba jamba. It's big. Anyway, take my project, don't take my project, use it for inspiration, go your own way. I cannot wait to see what you do. If you were just joining, okay, so my white is wet, it's okay. I'm gonna come back, I'm just gonna spread that love. Can't wait to see what you do with this. Okay, so remember, I don't love my hat, so I am gonna bring a branch coming down. I'm gonna dip in white so I can see it. It's, it's going over top of that one. The thing to remember, if you're, if you're just joining, don't be a Karen on me. Oh my gosh, you can't paint on wood because then you're gonna be eating you know, the glue, the paint. You still have room down on the right area for your words. Yes, I think so, I hope so. Um, we'll see, I guess we'll see. Um, so don't be a Karen. The thing is, just research your product. Hold on, there it is. Research your product 
get online, see what their cure rate is to be food safe. Okay, I've done it myself. Okay, so you're gonna have to do your own. So I'm gonna say there's one coming down here. There's a skinny one. Start at the top, work your way down. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I want some red berries. I know I do. So it's a little sparse. You could keep going. You could make it super full. <laughs> As I'm talking, I'm, I'm doing that right now. Make it super full if you wanted to. But I think in this case, my grandma too always said, if you have to ask yourself if you need more, stop. I'm gonna let it rest. I'm gonna see what I have. Number one, I think I can go a little longer. So go ahead and see what you end up with. Give it a day or two, you can always add more. These two are overlapping, that's kinda cool. Okay. Boom. So it looks a little naked here. Let's let's pretend like there is one. We're gonna we're gonna put one. So it's got a lot of black in it for the first layer. I have just a small paintbrush. It's small. It's round. Nothing special. That is the first coat. Now <coughs> you can go in straight white, but I like to go in with three layers. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna dip in white, and I'm gonna dip. You guys can't see. Hold on. Um, yeah, we're all dirty here because it's been, fourth quarter was crazy. Oops, I need that. Hello, Chalk. How far down did you go? Oh, it's right here. Um, fourth quarter is crazy. And even though I painted this every day when I filmed, I didn't do it today. So I'm dipping in white. I'm dipping in the greenish blue. I may dip in black. So I'm going to start over here and I don't want it too white. I'm just gonna, I'm not really going on top of the bristles that I painted before. And I'm not really going in between. Don't worry, if it's too white, we'll come back and we'll add more, guys. It's layers, we talked about that. It's layers. I'm gonna go into some brown too. If I don't love them, I'm not worried. I'll nail it on my next layer. So if you press real hard, you're gonna get these fat mamas. And my water, or my paint needs to be adjusted a bit. Okay, so I'm just coming back, just adding these on top. When you paint on wood, you gotta see what you get when it dries. It's not bad though, right? It's coming, it's a coming. I don't want it so white. Okay, here we go. So there's one here. Oh, that's so white. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, not so much white. So the next layer is okay. I can come back in. Maybe these ones are just really big. It's really big. There you go, it goes off. So it's bright now, it's okay. We're gonna go back and make them dark again. So talk to me, tell me where you are. Are you ready for, for the holidays? I don't wanna just say, you know, like, Merry Christmas, because a lot of you guys celebrate other holidays or don't celebrate those at all, and that's okay. Everybody's different. But are you ready? That's the question. I think I tend to make my a little skinny, a little on the skinny side. So let's go. Let's fill it up. Fill it up. So let me tell you a story. John loves habanero hot sauce. I mean, I'm not talking, oh, he says he wants it hot and then he cries like a little girl when it comes in. <gasps> oh my God. Um, no, he's like, can you make it spicier, please, um, for everything? So every year I do, I get them um, like an assortment of hot sauces that should take them through most of the year. And, um, oh my gosh, it must be a really good year to get into the hot sauce racket because there wasn't, I went through six stores here in Spokane Valley and there wasn't a single 
hot sauce. I went to Sporting Goods. I went to other stores. Okay, that one looks like it's petrified. <laughs> so there's one behind it. I'm going to pull that one on top. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. So I'm going to pull this one on top. I'm going to clean my paintbrush up. Ended up with too much white in my green. So this is just gonna be a different color. It's gonna, it's misdirection. If you have an ugly one, cover it up. It happens. There's ugly ones in nature too. Um, so anyway, back to my story. So this morning we had to go all the way to Idaho to another sporting goods place to find John some hot sauce. Oh my gosh. So we've been up for a long time. Kind of water down my paint. It's getting too thick. I'm gonna add a little white to my paintbrush. I know you guys cannot see. I'm gonna this one's gonna turn curl around to make up for the fact that these ones are boring. Okay. <laughs> um I know you guys can't see it super well. But I gotta tell you, um, up close, I can see the layers drying. That's looking pretty good. And remember, it's all about misdirection. As soon as I put like words down here or berries, that's what's gonna capture your eyes, guys. I feel like I need a little bit more paint. I'm going into the hooker green. Laugh it up, yuck it up. <coughs> Excuse me. This is just True Blue from Folk Art and it's matte. A lot of my peers only paint in matte and then put the finish they want on top. Eh, I kind of use whatever I have. What do I have? What do I feel like painting? And I'm not even concerned. I'm adding a little brown to the blue and the green and grabbing some white. I'm not even concerned that it's pretty flat. I'm gonna come back in with some highlights. Amazon or Walmart online probably I know but it's so late there's no way there is no absolute way Brenda and I'd have it by now because I've been so I've been stuck in the workshop you guys have kept me busy I'm not complaining I'm not complaining I'm super grateful <laughs> but now I'm like who's got the hot sauce no but I did get them a lot today oh I don't like that one that's okay we're gonna berries we're gonna bury that all over the place when I look up at the camera, I do see things I can't see um, up close. Boom, how fun. So a show that we've been watching a lot of, and if you watch this on Monday night, you know, is Selena Gomez plus Chef. And I didn't know it was a series, and if you have HBO Max, which I do not have, but my son does. You can watch several seasons. It started when she, when we were in COVID, um, and I had no clue. I was so not cool. I didn't know. I didn't know, guys. She's just so cool. She's just a cool cat. And we've just been watching the heck out of those at nighttime. We go upstairs about 12 or one. Ooh, this one's a pretty one. So I just look at these like they're base coats. If I don't love them, I'll put more base coats in it. It's okay. So I intentionally, this one's getting a better base coat. I, and there's two of them. I intentionally left some bark showing because I'm gonna pop a little snow on it just to give it a little love. Okay. Now I'm gonna go through with a little bit of white. I'm going to, you could do it with yellow, guys. You don't have to do it with white, white. Um, I'm just gonna, mm, I don't think I wanna do it with white, white. Okay, a lighter green. Just gonna pop it in there. I'm not necessarily going on top of any one branch. The white, white was too contrasty. You can see you didn't have you don't have to be a perfectionist. It's just a hot mess. And if you end up with too much light, you're gonna go back in, you're gonna do the dark again, rinse, repeat, make yourself happy. This one's going, this one's going up. Oop, that's blue. 
That's some blue right there. That's a blue spruce, blue spruce. Ha. So we needed a pretty large tree this year and the they're gone. I mean, I can find some really ugly big trees. So we were like, okay, so we'll just take one from the property. And so we looked and none of them were like, you know, like something you could hang a bulb on or an ornament on. They were all like the wrong type of tree, if that makes sense. But then I was just getting sad. I was like, I don't, know, I don't want a tree. Um, I was just being a big sissy about it. And then I decided to walk Hazel down past the backyard. And there were two blue spruces that are tall and they were growing into each other. And I was like, I have to take one anyway for the health of the tree. So why not breathe new life into it as a Christmas tree? So this tree gets to be a Christmas tree. So we did, we cut it down. And part of me cringed because as part of the landscape, it was probably like an $800 tree, but it wouldn't last very long. You know what I mean? So it's the most beautiful tree we've ever had in our life. And now we're like, we have to plant the next 20 year trees and just cut them down ourselves. That's pretty white. Um, but, oh yeah, they were nice. This is pretty white, guys. That's okay. As I got talking, I started grabbing new things. New colors. That's okay. Let's just go in with the blue-green now. Where I want. Where I feel like, oh, it's just too much. That's too blue. That's blue spruce. That's not Santa blue. That's blue blue. Okay. Here we go. Dope. Dope. So one color can tend to look a little bit flat. So if you pick up two, if you double load your paintbrush, like, you know, like Monet and Monet, Manet, Monet, that's so funny. Um, let's pretend like this one's coming from here. And put more than one color on your paintbrush, double loading, dip in more than one color. That's it, dip in more than one color. Um, and then you get just, you know, highlights and lowlights all in one go. Pretty lazy and it works. The impressionist can't be wrong. It works. It works amazingly. All right. So, I mean, there's, I could mess with these all day, right? Like this, this is very blue. So maybe I want to darken it up again. So if you do, you're just going to come in here and add some dark ones. The dark one. Okay, I don't know what book that's from. Just, you know, play, play, play. Make yourself happy. All I'm doing is putting singular brush strokes here and there. Bring out the yellow if you want. Mine are frosted. <laughs> you can see. You can see that they are frosted. Boom, boom, boom. But I have to move on because I have to get to the shop. The post office does close early today, and I know a few people would like their projects in a couple days. Okay, so berries. So I have some red, and I'm going to, let's see, take a little, a little black with the red, just a little bit. Where do I want some berries? The berries should go where it's really, really ugly. And I'm going to do a triple berry situation, and they're wet right now. I'm going to do some... Some tricks. They don't have to be touching guys at all, but mine are. And it adds just a nice splash. Maybe I'll do a singular one there. Remember your eye loves odd numbers. Okay. So a couple things you can do. You can let them dry and then do some highlighting on top and some low lighting. I'm going to show you Mine aren't gonna be complete for you today. So I'm just gonna take a little black while it's wet, just a little black, and underneath, I'm gonna put a black smile. It's really mixing, hold on. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. Here we go. Underneath, I'm gonna put a little black. It's gonna color mix. I can come back in. If it's too dark, I can change it, it's fine. 
It's my low light, it's my shading. It took no time whatsoever. On the top, you know, give it another coat of red if you wanted to. On the top, you can take a little bit of white and just put a blob or a frown or a blob. So that gives them a little bit more funness. Then you can take the back of your paintbrush and you can do some here and there. Just little babies starting to grow. Not a lot. I'm not doing a ton. Just little babies. Just to add some color. Okay, for the branch, I'm gonna clean out my paintbrush a lot. I'm gonna scoop up a little white and I'm gonna pop a little white on the branch that is exposed. Just to make it a little bit more like, oh, it's snowy. That's it. If at that time you wanna come back and add some more white, like, oh, they're very frosted tips, that would pull it all together, okay? All right, so nose, nose and eyes. Okay, I have, a, I have a orange already made up over here. Let's grab it. It is bright orange. Oh, that might be too orange. I have another one. Warm sunset. That sounds good. Warm sunset. I paint the board anyway. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to start in the center of his face with a C. It's going to go off his nose, just or off his face, and up. Whoop, and just wavy. It's just a wavy baby. Going to heavily fill it in. Or thinly and come back and do another coat. Right where the blue is showing through, I'll probably have to give it a little bit more love. Put some low lights in. What do I mean by that? Well, they know, you know, they got a little wrinkle, wrinkle area here and there, so come here. Don't be like that. Underneath, I'm gonna just put a little brown underneath while it's wet. And with a tiny detail brush, put a little, some of those little carrot-like wrinkles. <coughs> Brenda, yeah, but you live, as Brenda, I see your comment about Walmart, you get same day. But in Spokane, we don't get same day. Not at all. Okay, so I'm gonna do the eyes. I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the eyes. Okay, I'm just gonna take my paintbrush, clean it out really well. I would probably use, if you have fluid acrylic, just because it's one and done, please keep in mind, eyes don't start over here. One will be over here and one will be on this side. The nose will be between, yeah, I know, it's so sad. Uh, the nose will be between the eyeballs. And I will try very hard to make my eyes um, similar sizes, but that's not really my forte. I screw up all the time. You know what, let's do this. He's gonna have cute little lashes. Oh, okay. Now you're not gonna be able to see the rest of the next eye because the big old honkin nose. So it's an upside down you, similar in size, and the nose is in the way. That's okay. It's okay. But you will be able to see a little bit of eyelashes. That's okay. Perspectively. The nose always gets in the way. I'm gonna clean the paintbrush. I'm gonna take a scoop of white. I'm gonna put, he's looking up, so I'm just gonna put that there. They'll dry flat. I'm gonna be very careful. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little, he's got a little bit of a eyebrow on either side. It's happening. It's happening, folks. Okay, and I'm gonna do a lump of coal or a button. So he's got half of one showing. 
she, maybe it's a she. I haven't finished the scarf, but I might have to finish later if I can't get it all done. I'm gonna flip my paintbrush upside down, dip in silver and white, let yours pay, uh, dry if you wanted to or not, that's fine. I chose not to. I'm gonna come in, where did I put that tiny paintbrush? So here's where I start with the detail work and I do go a little faster. So here is my scarf line. I need a little bit of water to thin down my paint. I'm gonna, boom. And I said, hey, let's do buffalo plaid. I didn't do buffalo plaid yet. I typically do buffalo plaid when the paint is wet. Okay, so I'm just gonna give them, I'm gonna start with a circle for his mouth. I may wanna do more so he's not just, I probably should do more. That way he's not just like singing. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it easy on myself. I'm gonna pick a paintbrush with a big um, handle, and then I'll just pop those dots in because that's how easy it is. Don't You don't have to make it hard, guys. Ta-da! I probably will grab some white, though, and put, because the side that are um, lights streaming in. Okay, so the only thing else I was going to do, and it may make it cluttered to you, is write Hello Winter. So the handles go here. Let me show you our handles. They're super cute. They're very inexpensive on Amazon, at least when I buy in bulk. They come with two sizes. You need two. They come with two sizes of screws. The handles are super cute and they're all you need for this. I don't love the old barn style handles. See, they're kind of like plumbing handles. Look how cute those are and you just pick it up. You just pick it up. Okay, so hello winter. I think because I went crazy with all, all the boughs and I probably, you know what I'm thinking? I'm gonna bring in some gold. There we go. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I would normally handwrite, but I wanna show you that you don't have to be a master at writing anything. Either use your Cricut, which y'all know hate me. Cricut hate me. I didn't get on it early enough in life. Okay. Right, I'm thinking like that. I was going to separate them, um, but or I was going to freehand it to. Oh, thanks, Brenda. I hope it is adorable. Um, so you have two things you can do. They make, I know, my studio is going to get cleaned over the holidays. I promise, even if I have to hire somebody. <coughs> okay. There is white transfer paper and black transfer paper. Both of them have a non-slick side that is not useful. You want the shiny side. And it makes sense so that you guys can see it that I use the white for you. Okay, now where do I get this? You know where. You know, it's the same place we get everything. It's at Amazon. Um, and I haven't used mine in a long time because we haven't done as many canvases. So you guys have been crying out for some and I get it. Okay, I'm just gonna line it up. It's just, it is helpful to have some. If you don't have some and you don't have it in your budget to go pick up more anything, just do the old chalk. Do the chalk. And then, I should just do it to show you. And then, you know, wipe off the extra when you're done. I almost feel like I want to separate those words. Hold on a second. Hello, winter. It almost looks like a tag hanging from the tree, right? Okay, guys, up high or down low. So write high or low. So high, and it almost looks like a tag hanging from the tree or down low. But then it gets really, really busy or down low. Brenda wants it low. Anybody else want to chime in? 
high or low. I know, I made it so busy. I'm not done with my sides. I'm gonna bring in a little gold. Anybody else? Last chance. Going once, going twice. Anybody? We're gonna have a throw down. Everyone wants low. Okay. All right, so here we go. So find the angle that you want it. Okay, I feel like that's good. <coughs> um, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you're gonna have to do a little bit of configuring. So I'm not gonna go around both the hoops. I'm just gonna go right down the center. And I already know the trick, and I'm gonna share it with you here, to get this type of font. Look. Weep. Oop, look at that. So I gotta tell you the white graphite paper does not wipe off as well as just chalk. Here we go. But you guys can see that, okay? And you can see it clearly does not resemble the thick and thin lines of this font. Let me show you what to do. So this one might be too small, but I'm gonna start with that. Let me see, hold on. So you want, you want fluid acrylic for sure, at least that's my preference. I'd never have you go out and buy something special. If you can only get white and black and the golden is better for lettering and for trees, then the Liquitex, I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, use your coupon. It would only be like five bucks for the small. Use your, oh, why am I in black? I guess we can never see the black. Hold on. White, 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 white. Okay, so again, I have it both in Golden Fluid Acrylic and Liquitex. Liquitex is fans, uh, fantastic, except when I want a solid line. Starting to get really, really busy here. Okay, whoa! And so you will never use that for lettering. You will never ever use all of that. So I'm gonna come in and pull with my paintbrush and pull some out and I added some water to it. Hopefully you guys could see that. I added some water to it. It's thin, it's not the consistency, oh, oh sorry, not the consistency of pudding. It's more like a heavy cream now. Okay, so here's how we do it. Okay, so on the down strokes, you're gonna press hard. It's gonna be wide, okay? On the up strokes, it's not, I'm not gonna press hard at all. And then this is an awkward spot, so I'm gonna come in at the other angle, okay? And there's also a little loop-de-loo -loo I did not capture. So let's do that again. Up strokes, light. Down strokes, heavy. Up strokes, Light, don't press as hard. Down strokes, fat. It'll come, you guys, it'll come. Water down your paint, keep your ferrule clean, keep your bristles together. Okay, and you can do all the down strokes at one time, if that helps. Else you're gonna sit here and go, down stroke, fat. I, I do. Okay, I chant. I chant to myself. I'm the chanting paint lady. Okay. So skinny, skinny, skinny. And I am downstroking because you know why? It's easier to paint down than it is to paint up. Try it. I always instruct to paint trees by turning your canvas upside down. I think this should go out. I think that this should go like this. Because we're fancy today, okay? And then winter the same way. If you want, you can go down stroke, down stroke. Apparently you guys have to come on this journey with me. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So it's simple, right? Just break it in, keep your paint thin. If you try to water down regular paint, it just it gets watery and see-through. It's not as great as fluid acrylics. I'm gonna be a paint snob in this instance, okay? Okay, so lighter stroke, or even just switch out your paintbrush to something lighter.
And never once are you gonna see me scrub my line. I'm not going tch, 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 because it's all feathered and it doesn't look nice. And it's because I'm making sure that I water down my paint. I'm using a great paint. It's too late to ask to see how tough for this paint, but I'm using a great paint. And I really only have to do it one time. Okay. So at this point, you can do snow if you wanted to, which you take your paintbrush, turn it upside down, and dip and dot the snow. You can do that if you want to. Um, I probably will. I'm also going to take and use the white and do some highlighting in the scarf since I have a nice outlining white. And I'm gonna dip and dot some dots. It's all about the details. Get in there, have fun. Buffalo plaid, we don't need no buffalo plaid. We didn't do that today. Okay, is there a little snow on the top of his nose? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not worried about outlining him because the dark background took care of that for me. Why are you upside down? I am upside down, Sherry. Hi, so that you can see my work a little bit better today. We're doing a, um, like a tutorial to take a piece of wood and turn it into a charcuterie board. That would make a great gift. There, there are some things you have to know, like you have to follow your finishing instructions for curing. So you have this thing that is food safe or lay down a piece of plastic makes a great and expensive gift. Super cool, they can use it all season long and it's not gonna break you to fill this. So I have these two handles I got from Amazon and I do love them. Okay, last things last is I do want to take care of the edge. That's just what I like to do. I'm gonna grab some gold. I might not want this gold, hold on a second. I have a small gold and my desk is crazy a mess. And I meant, and I'm sorry, I meant to get this free tutorial out earlier in the year, but now you're ready for next year. Okay, so this is bright gold, and it is bright gold. I'm just gonna use, hmm, you can use a three-quarter flat, you can use a fan brush, you can use any brush you want. I might just use this one. Ooh, that's really wet. I'm gonna dry it off, okay. And I could do black first, and I may come back and do black. I probably should do black. <coughs> I like to put an edge so it's finished off. You might hate it when I do it, so that's okay. This one's mine. Don't do it if you don't like it. So all I'm gonna do is just run this. I don't like this brush, hold on. Run this along the sides, just to finish it off, just to give it a border. I might throw some silver in there too. Or maybe you hate the bright, well I like it better coming from this direction. Boom. I'll save that for later. Got loopy on the sides. And it does look a lot better when you come in and do this with the black first. So I may do that real quick. I got black up here, it's looking fantastic. So I like putting an edge to something. Um, so Sherry, hi, how are you doing? I saw your order today. Thanks so much. So you're gonna just keep playing with it till you're happy. Um, I definitely would paint your sides. Remember, you don't wanna submerse this at all. And let me just do some dots. You know what? I also think that I'm gonna do some dots for snow. It's snowing. Oop, that's not a dot at all. I flip my paintbrush upside down and it's snowing. And the Hello Winter could use a little love. Let me show you what to do. And then I seriously have to go next door. <laughs> you have to dip frequently, okay. Ta-da, oh, I also like to do this. This one's gonna be a Disney snowflake. Or Disney star. 
All right. Okay, inside your Hello Winter, and we've told you how it helped you with that font. Um, if you need this one, write me. I will send you a JPEG. You can print it out and size it any way you want. I'm just gonna take some black, and I'm just gonna go kind of lay right in this, aren't I? And just, you can just race around and do a little, not, I'm not outlining all of it, guys. I'm just doing some. Just a little bit. I'm also using the fluid acrylic. So I'm really, oop, I forgot to do the dot for my eye. I'm doing the fluid acrylic, so it's my friend. You can also do it with the gold. I make fluid acrylic and gold too. Okay, I forgot my dot for my eye, so I'm coming in. And I'm gonna call this one done. Let's just see if my handles fit. So, you know, if I do a paint party, I do charge like, I don't know, like 30, 35 bucks for this. I'm gonna go eat some. Oh, Mark. <laughs> You're cracking me up, Don, or uh, Brenda, cracking me up. Um, so, I mean, it's a good project. It doesn't have to be on canvas. It's something somebody can utilize. Okay, guys, knock it off. Okay. And you have a second side. You have a second side, I don't have it super tight, um, that you can utilize for another project. So just don't screw this down all the way. It could be a double-sided. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm going to let mine dry for 24 hours, make any changes I need to, and then I will spray mine with polycrylic. And um, then I will wait 21 days to put food on it or I will use the saran wrap. Now, one thing to know is John did not countersink, countersunk, he's also not straight. You guys see that? John, you fired, John, you fired. Okay, so they're not countersunk. So they do wobble a little bit. If you got a handyman, make sure he countersunk, sinks these, countersunk these for you. <laughs> so anyway, let me turn this around really quick, boom. Boom, boom, hi. So, I hope you like it. Came out pretty cute. See you later, happy holidays, bye-bye.